welcome here to our program. Thank you very much. Uh, can you introduce yourself to our public? Sure. My name is Ted Gatzis, and I'm the mayor of the city of Manchester. Uh, here at a wonderful festive occasion, the Bhutanese picnic. How do the immigrants uh, add value in this city? Well, Manchester has always been a city of immigrants. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a second generation immigrant. My grandparents came from Greece mm -hmm. to Manchester, mm -hmm. and my other grandparents came from Lebanon. Mm -hmm. So I understand what it is to have a family that's part of the community and part of the fabric, and certainly uh, we have great families that are here today mm -hmm. that participate in the great city of Manchester. Uh, what is your experience with the Bhutanese? A recent Bhutanese refugee in Greater Manchester. You know, I've only had great experiences with them. I know that uh, three years ago I went to West High School when they had a clothing drive, mm -hmm. and that was a great festive occasion. And mm -hmm. today we're here with the families, and certainly whenever I see them at different functions, they're always very gracious and they're always hospitable. Mm -hmm. to come up and say hello. No. Navasta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, officially, as a city mayor, uh, is there any programs? you know, you have to the Bhutanese peoples from the city? There are no direct, um, there are no direct uh, processes through our office, mm -hmm. but I know that there's an awful lot of different things that happen in the community that uh, Bhutanese people participate in. Mm -hmm. I know that they go to Sistier Jacqueline's uh, school for mm -hmm. education, and that's something that the city sponsors and supports. All of the mental health? Well, I can tell you that uh, certainly that the city, the mental health issues are something that needs to be addressed not only at the local level, but at the state level. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have, there's an awful lot of drugs mm -hmm. that are in the city of Manchester, and I've been talking about it for the last eight months, and now all of a sudden, people are being very aware that heroin doesn't have a face. It can be anybody. And that's something we've got to correct in the mental health issue. Certainly, there's got to be space for people that have mental health issues. Well, I, 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 again, I don't consider them a refugee once they're here. Mm -hmm. I consider them part of our community. Yeah. And certainly uh, a good percentage of the Bhutanese families are out working hard. Mm -hmm. They have farms here that they're growing uh, produce in. So mm -hmm. again, they learn to become part of this community very quickly. What's your message to the Bhutanese family? Enjoy and participate. Don't hesitate to get involved. Thank you very much. For You're welcome. Thank you.